Hi, in this session I'm going to show you how to create a panel chart. A panel chart is also known as a trellis chart or small multiples. And basically, it's using smaller charts in a grid format to show trends of different variables of data. Like in this example, we have population growth from 1960 to 2010 uh, in each decade for different states, Alaska, DC, North Dakota, Vermont, and Wyoming. Now we can chart this on different larger charts, but it's harder to see a comparison or relationship unless you put it into a small grid next to each other here. A little note on panel charts is it's a good idea and good rule of thumb to have the x-axis uh, the same. Basically we're having 1960 to 2010 for each of the states here. So the, the range of dates or data points here are the same and also the well that's for the x-axis and for the y-axis pretty much it's a little more leeway there but uh, in addition here it's probably a good idea to not have too many outliers in the the y date the y-axis data so how do we create this basically it's one chart as you can see here it's one chart that is coming off a table like this so the table has to be formatted like this where you have the first two columns as the data you put into your y excuse me your x axis you have our states here in column a you have the different years in column b and in column c and d there needs to be two columns that kind of separate the data for our y axis for our series data and the reason why we have blanks for the different rotating in the different columns kind of rotating each other is because what happens in column one for this example let me go ahead and click on one of these lines What's happening, it's basically charting one series of data. It's going to 1960 to 2010. But in the next state, basically it's charting blank data. So in essence, it's charting a line here, and then it's going blank. It's charting another line here, it's going blank. Whereas in column two, it's doing the opposite. So it's basically charting blanks here, and then charting data here. So that's how you get this effect in one chart. And you get, you get this little break here basically having two columns of series data. So I'll show you how to do this. So you have to format your table like this first. Unfortunately, sometimes we get our data that looks like this. Now this is very common how we would get our data in a population sample. We have the year, the time period going across and then you'd have your categories or your items going down like this. We basically need to turn this into a proper table. When I mean proper table, you don't have the column fields acting also as data field. So ideally you would have column fields here. The state, that's correct, that's a column field. It's a field that identifies states and you can put your states down here. This really should be something like years. So year would be 1960, 1970, 1980, 1990. And here would be another column field that which would be population and it'd be represented by the population. So in essence, we want to turn this into a proper table. Now I have another video which shows you how to do that, turn column fields into data fields, and I'll put a link to it. But the eventual output that we want, the eventual table that we want to have is something that looks like this. So we have our states, and you see the Alaska shows up multiple times because there's multiple years that we're getting data for. Now we also need a separator. Now this is, this is the separator that the final outcome of our, the final table that we're going to use for our chart is going to look like. But we only need two separators. So in here I just put ones and twos. So this would be the first this example. This would be the first line and this is the second line and we just kind of alternate ones and twos. What we need to do is turn this into a pivot table which would look like this and take this format and just paste it into a final table like this so we can chart our graph or, or make our chart. So let me show you how to do that. So we'll just pretend that we already turned this into, turn these column fields into data fields. Like I said before, I'll put a video, I'll put a link to the video which shows you how to do this, but we're gonna have this table first. So I'm gonna go ahead and just copy this table as is, and we're gonna assume that you know we, we're gonna have separators here for each state and alternating it, ones and twos, ones and twos. See, we have ones are here for Alaska, then a two for DC, and then go back to ones for North Dakota. So let me go ahead and copy this table. Let me go ahead and control shift down arrow to select everything, control C to copy. Let me bring it on to another sheet here, and I'm just gonna paste values. All right, 
So once we do that, let me go ahead and, and double click to auto fit this. So once we have this table here, I'm going to turn it into a pivot table. So I'll just go ahead and select any cell in there, go into insert, pivot table, and we'll put it on a new worksheet. And I'll just give this a new name. I'm going to call it pivot to and press enter and let me just move it over here like it'd be kind of neat so we're going to start populating the different fields here state i'm going to put here in the row label the year i'm also going to put here in the row label the separator this is going to be a column label and the population as our data field our values here so what we're going to do is format this a little bit more too so we go under the design we don't need to have this in the layout that's currently we want to have it into a tabular form because what it's going to do it's going to move it's going to take these two. We want the states and the years to be in different columns. Right now it's in one column. So we want to turn this into a tabular form. So it's going to move that over as its own separate column. We also don't need the totals here, so we're going to turn those off. Turn off the grand totals and turn off the subtotals. So this is perfect. This is how we want our data now. So we select our pivot table data here and control C to copy over here control V to paste oh and we have our, our column headings with well, this is the first separator and this is the second separator and we'll go ahead and insert line insert line chart and you can see that now it's kind of filled out the beginnings of the panel chart for us let me go ahead and increase the size here now we have the grid lines here I'm gonna get rid of these grid lines select that press delete and now I'm just going to get rid of the legend here, delete that. So we completed our panel chart. We just need to have the divider share. So what I like to do actually, instead of getting too fancy, is just go ahead and put some lines here for our panel chart. So I'm just going to go ahead and select that line shape and just draw the line. Go ahead and just draw the line here. And we'll format the line color, right click, or we can just go up here, but I like to do it here. And we'll have that as, try to make it as similar to the line color of the chart as possible. And it looks like this particular black text one is pretty close, or maybe the gray. Yeah, maybe the gray here. Either way, we can just choose one. I'm just going to go ahead and choose this one. And we'll like move it over here a little bit. And there's our line. And actually, I'm gonna make this a little smaller. Let's see how that looks. So yeah, I guess that can fit. And and I can just press Control D to duplicate that and just bring it over to the next one here. Let me go out here and see how it looks. And then just do go ahead and Control D. Oops. Control D and they'll duplicate that and just bring it over here. And control D to duplicate that. And it looks like it's let me go ahead and move this one down a little bit. And the rest look fine. So basically I can go ahead and just group that together if I wanted to. If I resize the chart, it, I can make them all resize a little bit nicer, but if I didn't really care about that, I can just resize them individually as I resize my charts. But this is an example of a panel chart. Um, oh, there's one more thing you probably want to do is make the colors consistent. So I can just select one of these colors. Let's say if we like red and just select the blue one, right click and have the line color a different different color. Let's see, I think that was the red. So basically now we've got our panel chart for the different states here. And this is the way that we'd create it. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.